Praise the Lord. Welcome to our Brief Bible Reflections. We are looking at the book of Psalm 37. Today we read verse 23 to 26 as we pick our third lesson from this portion of scripture. Verse 23, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I have been young and now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging bread. He is ever merciful and lent, and his descendants are blessed. Praise the Lord. Our focus today as we look at this portion of scripture is on this particular person described in this text, the righteous man. As we have seen in these verses, is that it is a choice to let God order your steps. And letting God to us is when you surrender to Jesus Christ because we have no righteousness of our own. We depend on this complete sacrifice, Jesus Christ, who makes us righteous and complete in the eyes of God. By letting God order your steps, you experience great a um, uh, uh, great success. In this case, he says that he will order our steps, he delights in, his, in our ways. And again, though we may fall, though we may find challenges here and there, the Lord will always uphold us with his hand. The psalmist says that I've been young and now I am old, but I have not seen, look at this again, the righteous the righteous forsaken. The righteous enjoy many privileges in the Lord. He will order your steps, he will uphold you, and he will not forsake you at any given time. The psalmist gives a very solid testimony of who God is. And yesterday we said that these are not just empty words. They are words of what the psalmist had experienced in his life. Remember, we said that ordering our steps is not just a one-day event. It is a lifetime commitment. And so as the psalmist gives this testimony, he is giving a life experience. He calls us to look at this righteous person. And this righteous person extends the same great breakthroughs to generations. Why? The Bible says that have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging bread. Meaning that we will be able to extend or to share the same with those who surround us. When we talk about the descendants, we are talking about those that we interact with and even our own families, the people we relate to, the Lord will extend that great experience even to your descendants. And so here, the choice to be righteous, to stick to God's path, to allow God order your steps, will not just benefit you as an individual, you will also benefit your descendants. This righteous man is ever merciful and led, and his descendants are blessed. Praise the Lord. So when we choose to connect with God, to walk with the Lord, to let him order our steps, we extend great things to our descendants. Allow God to take charge over your life and this will not just be another story or empty words. It will be a testimony which will be experienced by many generations. Let us allow God to lead us, allow God to order our steps. And by this, his faithfulness we will touch even the generations to come. May the Lord bless you. God keep you. Have a lovely time. Shalom.